Behold the mystic moonstone, full of mystery and magic. Hey, Tivies, it's Psychic Bob. Well, here I am. I'm sitting here meditating on the wonderful Wiccan symbol of the pentacle and also the beautiful stone inside the mystical moonstone. Moonstone is one of the witch's stones. It's a gem that many witches use to attune to the moon, to the great goddess, to their own psychic power. Um, you know, the thing that I love about Wicca is that it gives us a chance to go deep. You know, there are some religions where it's like everything surf. It's just like, all right, go to this place on this day, do this ritual, and you're good to go. Um, and I'm not picking any one religion. A lot of religions have this. But I think the Wicca um, have it a little better in the sense that I think most of us, at least in my experience, don't just haphazardly do ritual that we really plan it and think it out. I think a lot of this is because, you know, we're not under an organized system. You know, Wicca is kind of like everybody's autonomous. But what's fascinating is that we can have a religion. We have no central authority, uh, no guiding text, uh, you know, and we're all independent. Yet, we all feel a common unity as Wiccans. And Wicca continues on throughout the world. I think it's a testimony to the true spirituality of this of this faith and I don't know I've just been in a mystical mode lately speaking of mystical people and mystical things many of you guys have been hearing me talk about Doreen Valiente this is a book about her life I uh, almost done with this book and I've been reading this other book called The Rebirth of Witchcraft which is by Doreen Valiente and what I'm discovering in each of these books is that Doreen Valiente was an amazing poet. Um, now, many of us know that she wrote Charge of the Goddess, which is a sacred, uh, almost really a sacred text to the Wicca. And it's really a very poetic sort of piece. Uh, and I found it outside that she wrote um, a whole book of poetry. And uh, I don't think it was published till later in her life. In fact, I have to find the name of that book. We'll have another uh, another uh, video all about that book. But in this book, in her biography, uh, they have some of her poetry. And I thought today I would read one of the most uh, beautiful poems that I found in here. Um, this one is uh, taken from the chapter about her poetic works called Anointed by the Poetic Muse. And um, there's a wonderful poem here. I thought we would read it today. The Witch's Ballad. Okay. So pull up your chairs and let's have a little, little poetry reading. Okay. I'm going to put on my glasses here. <laughs> All right. The Witch's Ballad by Doreen Valiente. Oh, I have been to the town where nightshade black and mandrake grow. And I have heard and I have seen what righteous folk would fear to know. For I have heard at still midnight upon the hilltop far forlorn, with note that echoed through the dark, the winding of the heathen horn. And I have seen the fire aglow and glinting from the magic sword and with the inner eye beheld the horned one, the Sabbath's Lord. We drank the wine and broke the bread and ate it in the old one's name. We linked our hands to make a ring and laughed and leaped the Sabbath game. Oh, little do the townsfolk wreck when dull they lie within their bed. Beyond the streets, beneath the stars, a merry round the witches tread, and round and round the circle spun, until the gate swung wide ajar. That barred the boundaries of the earth from fairy realms that shine afar. Oh, I have been and I have seen in magic worlds of otherwhere. For all this world may praise or blame, 
For ban or blessing not I care, for I have been beyond the town, where meadows meet and roses grow, and there such music did I hear, as worldly righteous never know. Isn't that beautiful? I love this poem. I think it really captures the, excuse me guys, I'm having allergies here today, <clears throat> the mysteries of the Sabbaths, of the night rituals. You know, I can tell you as a Wiccan, I've gathered with groups and perform rituals under the moon at night. And, you know, it's so powerful. I've been actually rituals where we had a bonfire and also a cauldron with fire and <sighs> mystical, powerful. So as I love this poem, I just want to come and share that with you today. I would really encourage you, you know, research out, uh, you know, search out the poetry of Doreen Valiente. Just amazing, amazing uh, person, amazing writing. Um, they have a lot of poems here. I won't go through all of them, but I want just to touch in on that with you briefly today because I think it's so important that we just sometimes pause and just listen to our inner voice. And I think a good poem speaks to the spirit, you know. I've always said the difference between a good writer and a great writer is that a great writer is a channel. And I really feel that in Doreen Valiente's poetry and her writings, she's a channel. She's a channel for greater forces, greater truths. Um, and she's filled with light and joy and mystery. And so I encourage you guys, you know, do some exploration on Doreen Valiente. This book has a lot of wonderful poetry in it. It's um, by Philip Heselton, and it's called Witch, Doreen Valiente. So I recommend it. Anyways, just want to come here and share that with you guys. You know, I got to say thank you. Thank you to all of you who came up to yesterday's video. We had messages from the spirit world. If you didn't see that, definitely check that out. You know, um, some people have read me, so well, you didn't answer my question. And I just want to say, guys, be patient with Psyche Bob. I'm very busy. I'm getting a lot of letters and a lot of reading requests. And so it's been a little hectic lately. But I am working on the letters best I can, okay? So I didn't forget you. And you know, I always say, even if I don't get right away to your letter, listen to everybody's letter in that video. Because you never know, spirit might work through somebody else's letter to reach you. And that's how they do, because those in the spirit world want to try to maximize their influence and help as many people as they can. So I really believe sometimes they'll literally make a letter come across my desk that uh, I might not have seen, but the spirits put it somehow in front of me because they know that many people have a similar issue. And those answers, even if they're for somebody else, if they're resonating for your soul, you can claim that for you and ask for them to help you. So anyways, I hope you'll see that video. Also, oops, hold on, I'm dropping stuff here today. Speaking of books, I also am an author. And if you want to pop over to my website, I have the link in the info box below, robert-hickman.com. You can pick up some of my books. This is my Wiccan book called Psychic Bob's Book of Wiccan Wisdom. I have a lot of wonderful uh, people tell me writing and saying they love this. I did all the drawings in this book. And I talk about various Wiccan topics, you know. Um, just things that I've learned and thought of over the years. Here's an article, Collecting Magical Objects. Um, here's one called Seeking Out Lonely Places. Um, just different things. I, my thoughts on winter and the magic of winter. You'll notice all the, the artwork. Uh, I did little cartoons. These are witches here. The witches of Wickerville. And uh, they're throughout the book. That's a witch walking in winter. You can see it's a snowstorm. And uh, he's carrying a staff with a giant snowflake doing weather magic. So, you know, um, you got a lot of options. A lot of things to look up. A lot of things to read, you know. And, you know, as we're ending summer here, uh, it's a really good time just to kind of slow down and get some personal reflection time in. You know, we're going to be coming up on um, our next holiday will be May Balm. And that's September, was it 21st, I believe. So we're going to be talking about that as we go along. But we got a, you know, a lot going on here at Spirit Channel. 
So listen, keep it here. Listen, if you want to help me out, please like this video, favorite it, share it with your friends, hit subscribe, be part of our channel. We'd love you to be here. And, um, you know, tell me in the box below, have you read any of Doreen Valiente's poetry? Uh, maybe you write poetry yourself. I'd love to hear about that. So tell me about your experiences with um, poetry, particularly magical poetry. And uh, if you know anything about Doreen Valiente's poetry as well. Well, you guys are the best. I love you. Mm -hmm. Send you my blessings. Keep it here at Spiritual. And by the way, hit subscribe if you haven't done so. And uh, be part of our scene here, okay? Well, we'll be back here tomorrow on Thursday. Psyche Bob has a kind of a crazy day tomorrow, so I don't know what I'm going to do yet. It just depends on the time. But um, anyways, I look forward to seeing you back here. We'll get something out to you. It may be a little late tomorrow, depending on my schedule. But we'll, we'll have something for you. So be back here then. And until tomorrow, may you always blessed be.